With celebrities being on camera for a big portion of their lives, sometimes things are bound to get awkward. Zendaya's old Disney days came out when she got asked if blondes have more fun, resulting in an iconic new sound. Blondes have more fun? Oh, we're about to find out, honey. <laughs> we just got started, so I'll let you know. <laughs> During the Golden Globes, Jennifer Lawrence made it clear to the people who can lip-read that if she doesn't win, she's leaving. And well, she seemed more happy to get to leave than if she had won the Grammys. Emma Stone. After Kim Kardashian found herself having to fill in for her sister Courtney, who took an unscheduled day off, Kim's best friend at the time, Jonathan Chabon, got into a heated debate with Courtney about her work ethic. Now, Kim, you'd be nothing. All you'd be doing is chasing Scott at nightclubs every night. I don't know who told you that you're the queen of this castle, that you don't need to work, because you do. Why don't you leave? Don't you have your own place? Know, Scott's never gonna marry you. <laughs> and well, the argument ended when Courtney gave a slight slap to Jonathan, which some fans thought it was deserved because he did cross the line. Chris Evans and Ana de Armas showed to have more chemistry than a periodic table when he found himself captivated by her Portuguese skills. Like, what does that mean? She's like, they're so I'm so I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but I love it. <laughs> when Fifth Harmony was performing for the Billboard Music Awards, fans were taken aback with a part of the choreography. Even though questions from viewers get filtered by producers before letting them join the show, people can lie, which is why live TV does come with its dangers. Yes, my question is for Kim. Okay. Hi. Um, Kim, why do you look Hey. Why do you look half your age on Instagram, but twice your age on TV? Oh, Ooh. sweetie! Ooh. I don't think well. that was the question that was going to be asked there. Um, let's move on. At least the host did a great job doing damage control. Unless you're Tom Holland, you might not want to offer your hand to Zendaya because she will reject it. In a behind-the-scenes snippet from the iconic We Are the World rehearsal, after Michael Jackson effortlessly delivers his signature vocals, the other performers left a lot to be desired, and Michael Jackson's reaction coupled with Daryl Hall holding his ears in the background is hilarious. On Love & Hip Hop, rapper Safari managed to do the impossible, by somehow throwing the chair forward, but making it land in the back of his head. Nicki Minaj handed the microphone to a fan hoping for a moment of magic, but the vocals were a little rough that even the bass dropped to tear. In a game where you have to guess if the person is lying or not, Billie Eilish told a very gross anecdote, which turned out to be 100% real. So, I once farted in my friend's mouth, while she was yawning and she threw up. Is it true? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh my God. A very weird and awkward moment happened when X Factor judge Lewis Walsh was touching Mel B very inappropriately. Even though the other people in the couch laughed it off, it really got even weirder when Lewis touched Mel B again. Got some growing to do, you know? Don't do that. Not we all know that Gordon Ramsay has several restaurants around the world, which all of them have some pretty good reviews. But a pretty hilarious moment was when James Corden roasted Gordon pretty hard. I've eaten worse. I've eaten in a couple of your places. Oh. Right. Sofia Vergara got kind of frustrated when Ellen had a confused look on her face every time she was telling a story. You say a tourist trip, and we went to the <laughs> Chichen Itza. Why well, you look at me like you don't understand? No, I. <laughs> Rihanna was a guest at Jimmy Kimmel's show, and for some odd reason, Jimmy Kimmel proposed to imitate the scene of the Lady in the Tram because that's somehow related to Autism Awareness Month. In April is Autism Awareness Month, and so what? You ever see the movie Lady in the Tramp? Yes, I have. And I will put put this in my mouth, and uh -oh, we will just Molly. Yeah, <laughs> Molly's gone. There is no more Molly. And then, and we just eat our way. 
Some other very bizarre moments from Keeping Up with the Kardashians include Kris Jenner dancing with her neighbors and making some cringy comments. Hey, how's it going? What's up? My name Who is Realist. Hi, Realist. I stay right up the street and I heard my homegirl Kim stays here and if it is, I'm just trying to come and, and kick it and let us know I'm her neighbor. Oh. Just well, welcome hood. to the hood. When Sofia Vergara brought her perfume to Jimmy Fallon's show to promote it, things got weird. Smell it then. All right. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's but beautiful. What do you feel? I feel, um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't tell me you don't feel anything. <laughs> Sometimes very unexpected things can happen during talk shows. In a hilarious segment from The James Corden Show, James got roasted pretty hard. You, David, handsome, kind of attractive, charming, uh, physical specimen. And then there's someone like you, James. Right, what does that mean? We all know Simon from X Factor can be very mean sometimes. I mean to be unkind, but you have one of the worst singing voices possibly in Miami. So when Simon asked Conan for help dealing with Demi Lovato's teasing, Conan's response was hilarious. I'm not showing any cleavage, this is a t-shirt. I'm surprised, because normally you could like braid your chest hair. <laughs> Tell her to stop picking on me, please. Don't pick on him, he's a kind man who's never insulted anyone. Uh, when Cara Delevingne was doing press for the movie Paper Towns, she went to a morning show who didn't seem to understand her sarcastic humor, and one of the hosts even suggested her to go take a nap. Good as much. We uh, figured as much. We'll let you go then. How about that? Right. We'll let you go take a little nap, maybe get a Red Bull. How about that? <laughs> and well, sometime after Cara Delevingne left the interview, another host said that for $5 million, she should act more excited. You make $5 million Jeez. for six weeks worth of work, you can pretend to talk to Good Day Sacramento with some oomph. Well, how Asking someone to smile more is usually never a good idea. When Olympic gymnast Simone Biles was asked why she wasn't smiling at some of the compliments, she responded that smiling doesn't win you gold medals. I was waiting for you to smile at some of the compliments. You didn't. Smiling real. doesn't win you gold medals. Uh oh. Okay. A very confusing moment for Australian actress Catherine Langford happened when Jimmy Kimmel asked her where she learned to speak proper English, which confused her because she's from Australia. And did you learn to speak English there? Is that where, I mean, like... It is. Our yes. regular English that we speak here. Is that something you learn from watching television or from friends or studying or what? Um... When Demi Lovato was leaving a store, she didn't want to answer a paparazzi's question. And that's when he said he was a fan. And well, it didn't go too well for him. How you know what the fan is? I'm a fan too, Demi. Name my second album. Oh, uh, come on. I, I... After Halle Berry was accused of leaving the scene, after getting into a car accident, when she was invited to an interview with Howie Mandel, he made a joke of a hit and run, right before Hallie came on, and well, she confronted him about it. I'm this way and she, she smashed right into me, but then she didn't say anything, she just left the scene. Oh, so, Howie! Uh, oh, oh, I do need to address that, yeah, because, yeah. you know, I was so shocked to come to what's like a home and be disrespected almost to my face. When Kourtney Kardashian, who is Scott Disick's ex, hired a very good-looking lifeguard, Everyone found it a little weird, and Scott particularly had a lot to say. This guy really a lifeguard? I mean, when's he saving lives? He's in like the gym all day. Sofia Vergara took a shot at the host's ego when he said if he set foot in Colombia, he was going to be kidnapped. You should go to Colombia. I would, I would love to go. go? Th I'm afraid I would be kidnapped. No, they don't, they don't even know who you are over there. No, they... Seth MacFarlane commented on how the crowds in the UK are big compared to the ones in the US completely backfired. Huge crowd, and like you go to like the Tonight Show in the States and there's like five people in the audience. <laughs> no, no, that's only when you're there, <laughs> Not sure if this is a clapback, but definitely one of the most savage moments of Mark Wahlberg's career. All bean town. <laughs> I had a boss called bean town. I'm so excited what was that giggle? There. In probably one of the most awkward moments of all time, G, Easy, and Halsey, who were dating at the time, were performing their hit song, Him and I. What people didn't know was that Halsey found out that he cheated on her just before getting on stage and still had to perform. And well, G, Easy also didn't know she knew at the time, but there were signs. Comedy Central hosts every year a roast of a celebrity, and in 2019 it was Justin Bieber, and most of the jokes from the hosts were about him looking like a lesbian. This was Justin's response. What do you get when you give a teenager $200 million? A bunch of has-beens calling you a lesbian for two hours. Eminem takes stoicism to the next level. Eminem, are you having fun? When celebrity chef Gino DeCampo recipe had to hear one of the host's culinary opinion, he had a great comeback. If it had, like, ham in it, 
<laughs> it's, oh, no. it's closer. Oh, no. It's closer to a British carbonara. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? If my it's... grandmother had wheels, she would have been a bike. <laughs> you know, what, you know, it's... <laughs> You know, what time? During the Jimmy Kimmel Live show, the Avengers cast was doing a fan Q&A when one asked who's the biggest diva in the cast, and she added that she thinks she knows who it is. And well, the response was hilarious. I feel like I know the answer to this, but uh, who oh. is the biggest diva in the whole cast? Yeah, who do you think? Robert. Oh, you think it's Robert? <laughs> Get that off the monitor. <laughs> Whistling to a human being is completely unacceptable and will be seen very disrespectful. When a diner was not happy with her food and was trying to get Gordon Ramsay's attention, she went the worst way about it. Hey, thank you. Hey, get the beer. Jeff! Right, don't whistle at me, I'm not your f***ing dog, yeah? You look more like a dog than I do. When Jimmy Kimmel was prying on Steve Harvey's net worth and billionaire status, Steve took the brutally honest route. I, uh -oh. I've just been trying to add it all up. Well, if I was a billionaire, I wouldn't be on your show. <laughs> <laughs> it's well known that a big controversy surrounding Hillary Clinton is an alleged deletion of thousands of emails. Zach Galifianakis made sure to make the end of the interview memorable. Well, this has been a lot of fun, Mrs. Clinton. We should stay in touch. What's the best way to reach you? Email? Okay, no one should ever do this considering paper has tons of chemicals and toxins. But during the David Letterman show, Lady Gaga wasn't too keen on the questions Letterman was asking and just ate the questions he prepared. This one. Uh, what, what did you... Oh, no, 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 no. Despite Kevin Hart getting a 585 on his SATs and getting rejected from almost every college, he still made it in life and had something to say about college. I don't have a college degree, but I do have a yacht. I guess we're even education. After Kourtney Kardashian went to visit her sister's new house, she gave a sarcastic remark about her decor choices, and Chloe was not having it. You choose black covers for your furniture. It's disgusting. Seriously, what the f is wrong with you? Why are you so bitchy these days? Just I'm born. At the Graham Norton show, guest Jim Carrey paid a textbook definition of a backhanded compliment to Margot Robbie. And I wanted to talk to you because you're amazing and I'm so excited for you. Oh, it's thanks. incredible that you've gotten as far as you have with your obvious physical disadvantages. <laughs> <laughs> that's, just, that's just pure talent there. <laughs> just a talent override there. Billy channeled her inner Brit during an interview with Radio One that even left the host impressed with her subtle roast. Sounds pint of Guinness. Guinness. That is the most British I've ever heard. <laughs> Want some golly lollies? <laughs> At an interview in Japan, the host was interested in learning to speak English, but let's just say Leonardo DiCaprio wasn't the most helpful teacher. I'm really interested in learning English right now. Please tell me what your favorite word is. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> okay, maybe correcting Mike Tyson is not the smartest move to make, but Bill Brule managed to roast Mike on his own show. He made headlines in October 2000 and 2000 after controversial monologue. You know, my 2000 and 2000, Mike, that's 2020. Those man. Brownsville schools, man. Phil, tell me, man, but listen, right? Even the most experienced interviewers drop the ball sometimes. My biggest fear is sharks. Seriously? Yeah. But where do you find yourself in a situation where you could somehow be hurt by a shark? When I swim in the ocean. <laughs> what kind of question is but that, no, maybe. When an interviewer seemed to be more infatuated with Megan Fox than asking questions relevant to the movie, she just started giving some silly answers. Every, I, I don't know if there's a man alive who's not in love with you in some way. You're so silly. You know what I'm, I'm am I really? You're silly. No, I'm not silly at all. You're a silly all. man in a checkered shirt. I am not, wow. <laughs> Chris Rock definitely had a rough upbringing being the eldest of seven children with his father being a truck driver who worked long hours. He even dropped out of high school and finally got a lucky break when he was discovered by comedy legend Eddie Murphy. So when Kristen Stewart was talking about not wanting to get jobs handed to her, Chris Rock could not relate. I really like to fight for jobs. I hate the feeling of suddenly being like, oh, well, you know, Kristen can have it because she'll, just because she can. I, I, I you know what I mean? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the job. <laughs> I don't care if everybody's better than me. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, the parts for a Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> Out of the Jonas Brothers, Kevin Jonas remained a little more low-key and didn't have as much visibility as the other group members. During the Jonas Brothers family roast, Lily Sings made a brutal comment about Kevin. Todd, Kevin is actually my favorite Jonas brother. Yeah, he is. Mine too. Because he makes you believe that anyone can be a pop star. When you see a picture of him next to Nick and Joe, you always think, wow, Nick and Joe are really close with their accountant. Back when Kanye West talked about running for president for the first time, the audience thought it was a joke until Kanye made sure it wasn't, and the crowd went dead silent. When, when I run for president in 2024, we want to definitely know what y'all laughing at. When I run for president in 2024, even though there is some truth to it, jealousy doesn't always stem from jealousy. Matt Reif was mentioning that he came to an epiphany in Tana Mojo's podcast, and she quickly came with a counter-argument. The epiphany that I've had recently, that because so many people hate me for really no reason, mm. and it really made me realize that like people only hate somebody they're jealous of. And I've been, I've been guilty of hating people, and when I really sat back and thought about it, it was because I was jealous of where that person was in their life. I felt like maybe they got an opportunity that I should have gotten. That was yeah. a really, really good, well-rounded answer. I'm trying to wrap my Thank head you. around. Do you think people who hate Osama bin Laden are jealous of him? <laughs> yeah. With Jackie Chan being in over 150 films and constantly averaging three movies per year, I'm sure he doesn't have that much time on his hands. And apparently, he hasn't even heard of the Kardashians. Name your favorite Kardashian. Who do you like? Kardashian? <laughs> What's mean Kardashian? Do you know the Kardashians even no, better? I don't know. You don't this know. Is, is that English? That's English. <laughs> I never heard of it before. A not so known fact is that Julia Roberts and Don Rickles are neighbors, but that didn't stop Don from savagely roasting her at the AFI Awards. I'm living about two blocks from you. The broad never shows up. Come by and say hello. <laughs> Closer than two blocks. <laughs> you have no lines, Julia. Just nod. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Having the same first name as another award nominee can cause a lot of disappointment. At the 66 Grammys, James Earl Jones didn't have his hopes up to win the Tony that year. So when he heard James, he was a bit stunned at first. He goes to James Corden, one man to the A week after Shawn Mendes partnered with Calvin Klein for an underwear campaign, he had to attend an unrelated event. And when the host saw Shawn Mendes, he sat down next to him and wanted to talk about the campaign. And well, you can tell he was a little embarrassed. There it is, Sean. I mean, all these years trying to break into your iCloud and then you just release it for free. How does it feel to have broken the internet? Uh, I knew this was going to happen. This is Apparently, Pharrell Williams was a little surprised about how much energy Taylor Swift had. At the 2016 VMAs, Miley Cyrus put on a performance that at the time was something completely new for mainstream media, and Drake was not feeling it. And Drake wasn't the only funny reaction during the show, with the Smith family being in utter shock. After Ellen explained that what gives her enjoyment is to make other people happy, she decided to leave the audience with a shirtless picture of Chris Hemsworth at the People's Choice Humanitarian Award. I want to make you happy, so I would like to share with you, I brought a shirtless photo of Chris Hemsworth to share. When Rihanna was performing opening medley, she was putting a great performance, but the fellow celebrities didn't look too excited. And that's when the cameras briefly caught Kanye West desperately trying to get them to stand up. When Saoirse Ronan won Best Actress in Comedy at the 2018 Golden Globes, some people noticed that Timothy Chalamet was a little zoned out during her speech. And actually everyone in this room, so thank you so much for this. Thank you. It's no secret that Jeff Bezos has a lot of money, so he's probably not used to getting roasted. But when Chris Rock saw Jeff Bezos sitting among the actors at the Oscars, he couldn't help but to throw a couple jokes his way. Oh, uh, Jeff Bezos is here! Oh! Jeff Bezos! Wow, great actor! <laughs> Bezos is so rich, he got divorced, and he's still the richest man in the world. <laughs> he saw Marriage Story and thought it was a comedy. <laughs> Back in 2006, no one expected Carrie Underwood to win the award at the CMAs for Female Vocalist of the Year. And well, Faith Hill was visibly shocked.
In perhaps one of the Drakest skits ever done, for the Juno Awards opening they came up with a brilliant sketch, which showed Drake's singing skills. I will remember you. Will you remember me? You, my friend, have the voice of a young rabbi. I love you, kid. I love you too, man. During a concert, Billie Eilish's fans were too rough on her, and it almost seemed they forgot she was a human being with one of them even having their hands towards Billie's neck. And to make matters worse, her ring got stolen. Somebody stole my ring! Oh my god! Oh, I guess it's my fault. But the ring thief messed with the wrong celebrity, when she didn't take into account her dedicated fan base that did some FBI-like detective work and found the exact moment the lady stole the ring. This probably made the lady scared and decided to return the ring to Billy, which prompted the artist to make an Instagram story thanking her, and by the looks of the ring it was probably very expensive. A concert goer at the Jonas Brothers show went too far, when she started touching Nick Jonas's upper leg, and she even kept doing it despite security telling her to stop, but Nick wasn't going to let it slide, and he pulled his leg and turned around and told the fan to stop. A fan had the audacity to steal Selena Gomez's sunglasses and jump on Twitter and say that she'll only give them back if she received free tickets for the concert. Selena saw this series of tweets and replied saying she wouldn't be doing that, and that she's not a true fan. Later she happened to come across the fan who was asking for a picture, and Selena Gomez gave her some well-deserved side-eye and a message. And based on this clip, perhaps the fan was better off simply asking for her glasses. Michael Jackson was arguably the most famous person in history, and had some of the most dedicated fans in history. Every time he left the house it would immediately be a security risk, with thousands of people gathering around wherever he went. It was even common for fans to jump on stage just to be able to touch the pop star. With no security in sight, a fan had a clear way to Michael Jackson. Little did he know the backup dancers had his back. A girl claiming to be Nicki Minaj's biggest fan asked to hop on stage, so when she didn't know the lyrics to her song, Nicki Minaj's reaction was hilarious. It's no secret that fans can get heavily involved in their favorite celebrity's dating life, causing interviewers to be prompted to ask questions about it. During an interview with Rihanna, when the host brought up the topic of her relationship, Rihanna was quick to shut it down. But when you're linked to another Hollywood star, and even if you're you, you've barely met them. Very frustrating. Almost as frustrating as being asked about it. People are interested you, in you, you're a big star. They are, and I'm, they're interested in a lot of things. Yeah. A lot of things that don't matter, or shouldn't. After Robert Downey Jr. was asked a question, meant to reflect on the years of acting as Tony Stark and his personal journey, the interview returned and asked Scarlett Johansson a disappointing question about her diet. And well, obviously she didn't like that. So the Tony Stark character, and did you learn anything throughout the three movies that you made? And to Scarlett, to get in, into the shape of Black Widow, did you have anything special to do in terms of the diet? Eat some specific food or that sort of thing? It's like, how come you get like the really interesting like existential question <laughs> and I get the like rabbit food question? It's normal that singers can get sweaty during performances, as they have to constantly be dancing and singing. A completely crazy moment during a post-show interview with Taylor Swift happened when the interviewer suggested Taylor take a shower. Swansea, we'll see you very soon. It's nice to see you. I'm, I think you need to have a, a shower now. I, t I agree, and I'm not offended that you said that. There's a lot going on and none of it's good here. With Justin Bieber's career blowing up at a young age, at first he wasn't received so well, but this song Baby being the most disliked video on YouTube. But a very disrespectful interview question happened when the host implied Justin Bieber should worry about Harry Styles and his mom. Do you worry about Harry around your mom since he, uh, he likes older women? Nothing you should worry about me around your mom, bro. In a very criticized moment in an interview with Larry King, when DJ Khaled was talking about the material things he aspires to have, Larry asked a kind of out of line question. House on the water. I want the nice car. I want the nice watch. I want to stay fresh. I want to stay clean. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's, you should strive for greatness. How did you gain all the weight? 
Um. A funny moment at the Jimmy Fallon show happened when he was interviewing Adriana Lima and asked her to teach him some Portuguese. And well, Adriana decided to teach Jimmy to say I wear a bra instead of a pleasure to meet you. I say it again. Eu. Eu. Uso. Eu uso. Sutiã. 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 Yes, I Eu uso sutiã. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, hey, let's talk about this guy here. It's no secret that the Kardashians make a lot of money. When an interviewer asked Kim Kardashian how much money she made from a product, she seemed irritated and proceeded to avoid the question. How much money did you make from it, personally? <laughs> what? Um. <laughs> how much? Well, I, I never talk dollars. Okay. Since I never do. It's well, you can talk rubles or euros. <laughs> when Nicki Minaj was doing an interview at a radio show, she knew beforehand that her and the host had some differences, based on comments he made in the past. And the amount of eye-rolling from Nicki Minaj was at another level. Okay. A moment which an interviewer took it way too far happened at an Avengers press interview, in which Scarlett Johansson was asked about what she was wearing under her costume, something that she found offensive and definitely made the interviewer know he was out of line. To wear undergarments. If You're you the, like the fifth person that's asked. Well, no, that because it what is going on? <laughs> What? Since when did people start asking each other about in interviews no, about their underwear? Is it inappropriate? To ask somebody what kind of underpants they wear? I didn't ask you what kind. You just asked me if I was wearing any. Despite Rihanna in the past having mentioned in several interviews she doesn't like to be asked about her dating life, interviewers seem to not get the memo. When she was asked in an event what she looks for in a man, Rihanna was quick to shut the reporter down. I'm looking for a man now to wear this clothes. I'm not looking for a man. Let's start there. Quentin Tarantino is one of the most known and respected movie directors of all time. When a reporter who wasn't too keen on his movies asked him about if the violence in his movies could influence kids, he had a pretty good comeback. Need for so much gruesome graphic violence. Why not let us imagine because a little Because it's so bit? much fun, Jan. Get really? it? Oh, really? Okay, I'd like to see you walk down the street and get attacked by some kids who've just seen your oh, movie. Oh, but you saw me. See, Jan, you're all messed okay. up because you're talking about real life. Oh, and I'm I see. talking and kids about the 12. movies. You gotta kids get it straight. Back when Ariana Grande started transitioning more from Nickelodeon to a full-on pop star, she was performing at the iHeartRadio Awards, and Rihanna sort of laughed at the performance, since it was something so different from Ariana at the time. After Kim Kardashian called Taylor Swift a snake, she got a lot of negative comments coming from Kim's fans. And at the VMAs while performing, she decided to joke about it, and Ariana Grande and JLo's reaction were hilarious. No, no. One second. I don't care if it's the VMAs. I'm not jumping off of there. There's all kinds of people getting bitten by snakes. Dangerous. Okay, we don't know if Billie Eilish was showing shade at the presenters or simply didn't get why the cameras were pointing at her. This one is from Keeping Up With The Kardashians too, but a very bizarre moment on the show happened when for some reason Kris Jenner suggested Scott Disick to get cosmetic surgery for his ears. Have you ever thought about reshaping your earlobes? What? Yeah. What's wrong with my earlobes? I think they're a little large. Oh my god. I don't even know what you're talking about, to be quite honest. They just slice it right you here. You want me to it's slice up. my Look ear? After getting absolutely roasted by a Miss USA, Steve Harvey made a very weird laugh. I hear you spent some time in front of the camera as a TV correspondent. Any tips for me tonight? sure you look over your notes beforehand and most importantly, I usually pin my hair back so it's out of my face, but I don't think you'll have that problem. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's the funniest thing out of her. Girl, you better tell these jokes. At the Jonathan Ross show, when asked about British guys, Rihanna threw a complete curveball to the interviewer by using him as a reference for British guys. And things got awkward. Would you be interested in a, a British guy? Judging by... Not, not sure. everyone can live up to this standard, Rihanna. <laughs> that would be this foolish of you this to hope. true. <laughs> but you have to reach for the stars, you know? <laughs> Nocebo effect is the opposite of placebo effect, where a person experiences negative effects simply because they believe a substance or situation is harmful. Scott Disick thought Kourtney Kardashian was experiencing this when she all of a sudden claimed she was allergic to a lot of different foods, so decided to secretly give her those foods, and it had no effect on her. She's just lost it. I don't even think she knows what gluten is. I don't. Do you? No. Does anybody? I'm sure. 
Green Lantern was a film starring Ryan Reynolds that bombed at the box office and was not well critically received. During a BBC Radio 1 playground, insults even Ryan Reynolds knew it was game over when he heard Green Lantern. I've never seen Green Lantern. Neither so have I. It's just from, you haven't either? No, the editor it's literally didn't see it. But <laughs> <laughs> On his show Heart to Heart, Kevin Hart had a brutal reaction when Don Cheadle mentioned his age. And me, you know, I'm 56 years old. Damn! I'm sorry. But well, when it was Mark Wahlberg turn for an interview, he was not going to let age discrimination slide and called him out for it. As a young guy trying to achieve the success that you have already achieved. You ain't that f***ing young. When, well, stop with everybody that's Hold a little on. bit older. Well, let's just, wait a minute, nobody. You do Don, a legend, so dirty like this. With Us Weekly having reported that Ben Affleck cheated on his now ex-wife Jennifer Garner with their nanny, and some rumors that he cheated on J-Lo as well, his reputation on this area has not been the best. So when presenting an award to Matt Damon, Ricky Gervais made a joke about his lifelong friend Ben Affleck, which left Matt speechless. He's also the only person who Ben Affleck hasn't been unfaithful to. Please welcome Matt Damon. Thank you. Um, <laughs> In one of the most savage interview moments of her career, the host asked Selena Gomez how she met Taylor Swift, and she took that moment to take a not-so-subtle shot at her ex. How did you guys first meet? We actually dated the Jonas Brothers. Oh. <laughs> it was the best thing we got out of those relationships. <laughs> Ryan Gosling is one of those laid-back people with a great sense of humor. So when he slipped up during an interview, he took the mocking like a champ. And Ryan Gosling, how are you guys? Thank you. Thank oh, you. good. good. Thank you. <laughs> how are you? Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. And that's all for today. Nice. <laughs> good night, everyone. Sometimes we might think that actors play roles for intrinsic reasons, but often it's purely about the money. Season after season, what what drives you to do it? Uh, the paycheck. <laughs> really nice. The money. Yeah. My yeah. kind of guy, Matt yeah. LeBlanc. 50 Cent was a part owner of the Vitamin Water brand, and it was acquired for $4.1 billion in 2007. So he walked away with a lot of money from that deal. So in an interview with Power 106 FM, the hosts were flabbergasted by the fact he was still working, and 50's response was incredible. What's the biggest check that you've seen at one time? What was that amount? Um, by $80 million. I don't know. You still working? Yeah, like, I mean, look, for me. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> you, know what I mean? like, you know what you, look, my son's mom used to talk to me like that. That's why I don't talk to her no more. <laughs> In one of the most savage and hilarious excuses to get out of a family gathering, Kim Kardashian lied to her sisters about having injured her leg. But in a turn of events, Kendall and Kylie Jenner decided to surprise Kim with flowers to cheer her up. And well, they caught her moving just fine. I just really thought that you guys would be more offended if I said I forgot. Kim, but you could have just told us the truth. You know, enjoy your flowers. Back when Rihanna could walk down the street without hundreds of paparazzis hounding her down, MTV tried to prank her on the show Punked by having some actors pretending to be street performers claiming she stole from them. But she was quick to shut it down. And you took. Moving on, like we need to steal. Here, ten dollars. No, y'all got fifteen dollars. Will y'all leave us alone? God bless you. Okay, even Tony Stark would be proud of the level of wit Robert Downey Jr. showed in an Avengers press conference, where he kept not being asked questions. I must be mellowing with age, but I want to say this very clearly. The next time I'm not asked the first question... <laughs> After Nikki released her perfume, she was doing some press for it. And when the interviewer admitted she didn't buy the perfume yet, Nikki's reaction was hilarious. Did you smell my perfume yet, Angela? Yes, I did. No, yes, I did. I promise I did. But no, you didn't I buy stay, it. I stay up on it. But you didn't buy it? Not yet. Okay, because, okay, you a hater. During the NBA 2013 star halftime show, apparently Kenny Smith's lips were dry, which prompted Kevin Hart to make a hilarious remark that made Kenny immediately start drinking water. Let's be done, because if you smile fast enough, uh -huh. your lips will bleed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on fire! Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Simon Cowell is known to be the judge that doesn't sugarcoat things. Instead, is straight up honest. I've got the voice, I got the look, I got the confidence, I've got the personality. I'm gonna give you three out of four on that. It's no secret that 99% of rappers use auto-tune. And it's not just because of imperfections in pitch, but it's also to create certain vocal effects that are impossible to do without them. After a fan threw a penny at Kanye West, he got really upset and started beefing with a fan, with auto-tune on, and it sounded angelic. Somebody just threw a
In Beyond Scared Straight, young delinquents are taken to a prison to experience a day in prison in order to scare them from committing crimes again. But one of the at-risk youths didn't seem too scared. When a host tried roasting a contestant, it completely backfired. And you're still looking like Cher. <laughs> well, she looks good for her age, unlike some people. <laughs> James Franco went a little too far during an interview with Nicki Minaj when he tried to argue the name of her song with her. Say we can agree to disagree, but I... No, we can't agree to disagree. Well, there it's are a fact. lot of people that read it as superb ass. I've never heard anyone call it that. You're making the... I know, like, I you? could name, like, five people, Who? like, right name now, them. they're, like, like, my friends, and, you know, they're all... Like Even though Andrew Garfield and journalist Amelia Dime Oldenburg has incredible chemistry during an interview, he couldn't help but too savagely reject her in the middle of it. I don't want to see you in these kinds of situations. What about other kinds of situations? I'm not interested, not interested. <laughs> A rude interviewer was bringing up weird questions to Ariana Grande, such as how does it feel to look younger than you are? And then all of a sudden brought a random comment someone tweeted. And well, Ariana Grande was quick to fire back. If when you go to McDonald's, people give you crowns, which seems cruel to me. Do you, does I don't it bother McDonald's. Does it bother you that, that, does it bother <laughs> you at all? After a very bizarre insult to Zendaya via Twitter, she responded in the most Zendaya way possible. Nope, smells like success to me. Helen Mirren is known to be 50 Cent's celebrity crush for a long time now. So when Stephen Colbert tried to flex he kissed Helen, he learned that he can't out this 50. Hard for you to watch knowing that you got a crush on Helen Mirren, but I am kissing I just Helen was, Mirren. I was just wondering how your wife felt about that. During BBC's Playground Insults, Seth surprisingly didn't come up with many roasts for Chloe Grace Moretz, but it was still hilarious. Your face that smells like garbage. Your beard smells like the sewer. Quick return from... I don't care for this game. Back in 2019, when Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello released a single named Senorita, and shortly after announced that they were dating, they put a performance at the VMAs that left the audience hanging, and we got to see Nick Jonas, Joe Jonas, BB Rexa, and Taylor Swift in complete disbelief. It's no secret that Eminem and Christina Aguilera had some beef, with both having included some scathing lyrics aimed at each other during some of their songs. So when Christina Aguilera publicly dissed Eminem while she was hosting and he was in the audience, the cameras immediately pointed at him, and his reaction was hilarious. Meeting Janet Jackson, Eminem, anyway. Well, the one thing that would In a moment that had viewers wondering if it was a comedy sketch, Bow Wow was presenting the Grammys pre-show, but they kept delaying the start, making Bow Wow have to make some improv on the spot. I'm getting ready to start. And well, fans were quick to point out the cameramen did him dirty, since they could have at least changed the cameras and panned out to the audience for a little bit. But Bow Wow took this whole blunder like a champ. And the one thing that clicked in my mind was just keep the show moving. No matter what, no dead air. Patrick Mahomes thought he received the ultimate ego boost when he was informed during a press conference by former NFL player Brandon Marshall that Rihanna called him the greatest quarterback ever. Rihanna came out and said that you are the greatest quarterback ever. Hearing that, how does that make you feel? Uh, it makes me feel, it makes you feel great. Um, and so, uh, whatever Rihanna says is like like the gospel. So I'm glad that she she went with me for that for that honor. She didn't. Oh. She didn't. I was just messing. Around. Oh man! <laughs> Despite being a prank, it did have a happy ending with Rihanna getting news of the joke and paying a compliment to Mahomes. Okay, I am so sorry you went through that. <laughs> I still think you're great. He's a hater though. <laughs> 